Hello, my name is Nicole Keith, and I am the Director of the Office of Diversity and Inclusion Management at the New York State Department of Civil Service. Thank you for taking the time to check out this video. We're here today to share some insights on what it's like to be a motor vehicle representative with the New York State Department of Motor Vehicles and why you should apply for the exam. Now, there is no special preparation needed for the exam. There are no study guides or anything like that. This is a special type of exam called a training and experience exam. So rather than answering multiple choice or other types of standard civil service exam questions, you'll simply fill out a questionnaire regarding your work experience, your education, and your skills, um, and that's it. So joining us today are subject matter experts from DMV, and we will use their expertise to make sure that you have all the information and resources that you need to apply for and take the exam. We'll also ask them about their firsthand experience working as motor vehicle representatives and the day-to-day -day activities that employees encounter. So for your information, this exam was just announced on August 1st, 2022, and you can apply for and take the exam now through August 31st, 2022. So first of all, let me say that there are many advantages to working for New York State. These include competitive salaries, affordable and comprehensive health insurance packages for both you and your family, time and attendance benefits, including 13 holidays, five personal days each year, as well as paid sick leave and vacation time. Uh, there are promotional opportunities, work-life balance programs, tuition reimbursement options, and even a pension for when you retire. All of these benefits come together to show that working for New York State is not just a job, it's a career. So now <laughs> it's time for us to talk to some people who have made their careers in New York State, and more specifically with DMV. As we dive into this conversation, we'd like to give you an idea of the day-to-day -day life of a motor vehicle representative. And to shed some light on this, we are joined by Michael Nelson, who began his career as a motor vehicle representative grade nine, and has since worked his way up to a human resource specialist two, grade 23 at DMV. Michael, welcome. Thank you for being here today. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Greetings. <laughs> Can you tell us a bit about what a motor vehicle representative does and what a day on the life, or sorry, what a day on the job looks like for somebody in this role? Sure. Um, our motor vehicle representatives are frontline customer service agents. Uh, positions are available in our field offices, central office, or contact center. Uh, MVRs receive on-the-job training about the department's policies and procedures. Once the training's complete, MVRs will then interpret and apply that knowledge to assist customers with questions they have and complete their transactions under the direction of their supervisor. DMV has MVRs located in our contact and outreach centers, as well as in issuing offices located throughout New York State. Um, on a daily basis, MVRs typically provide information and direction to the public, operate a computer, um, basically inputting and retrieving information, examine identification for authenticity and validity, administer written and oral permit and license exams, uh, give vision tests as necessary. Uh, they also examine and process permits and driver's licenses, non-driver identification cards, registrations. Uh, they collect fees, fines, penalties, surcharges, even sales tax. Uh, they process compliance and clearance orders to clear up problems people may have with a motor vehicle issue. They operate cameras and scanners. Uh, office greeters also provide floor aid services, which means they assist clients with questions and forms. They review documents and they guide them through a proper transaction. Uh, in our Traffic Violations Bureau, which is connected in a lot of our offices, MVRs provide information and enter a motorist plea on the record. They schedule hearings, they collect fine payments, and they assist judges in the hearing room. Thank you so much for that. That's a ton of helpful information. Uh, so can you talk about what personal and professional qualities and skills would help somebody be successful in this job? Of course. Um, it's a customer service position, so customer service is key. Uh, communication, good computer skills, those are the most important skills required for this position. Uh, MVRs spend their day listening to customers' requests, asking sufficient questions to determine what customers need, and explaining clearly and accurately what customers need to do to fulfill the service requested. Uh, 
to make sure the customer has a quick and efficient experience, MVRs must utilize computerized programs and applications to access the customer's records, process the transactions, and reference proper DMV procedures. A successful MVR should possess typically the following personal and professional qualities. Uh, they need attention to detail. They need a cashiering ability. Uh, you do deal with payments. Uh, they can handle a fast-paced work environment. Uh, they need integrity, of course. The ability to understand and to apply departmental policies and procedures. Uh, communication and interpersonal skills. They need to be a team player, and they need to be a dedicated worker. Thank you so much for that. So what career path is available for someone starting a state government career in this role? Oh, yes. Uh, career path for MVRs is limitless when joining a career in state government. Uh, many of our MVRs have gone on to become supervisors, office managers, district and regional directors, and some have even risen to the executive level. I mean, I myself am in human resources now, and I started as an MVR. Um, there are promotional exams for supervisory positions. And there are exams such as the public administration traineeship and transition exam that allow MVRs to be connected and considered for professional traineeships, including human resources professional, uh, project manager, and titles of that type. Uh, there are also career paths with exams that allow employees to get into both our investigative title series and our training title series. Excellent. It's always great to know that there is mobility options okay. uh, when you're taking a new job. So how does this job make a difference for communities throughout New York State? Uh, DMV interacts with more New Yorkers than any other state agency. At some point in almost every New Yorker's life, they'll need to interact with DMV to get a driver's license or to register a car or to sell a car or to sign up as an organ donor or even to register to vote. Uh, an MVR is sometimes the first person, well, oftentimes the first person to engage our, with our customers and provide the critical services to their community. As an MVR, you will help to promote accessibility and opportunities for our customers in various aspects of their personal lives, from assisting customers with identification documentation so they can apply for a job to helping a customer obtain their driver's license so they can drive to and from work. As an MVR, you'll play an instrumental part in your community's success. Since an MVR is usually the first person that customers meet with when conducting business with DMV, you could say an MVR is the face of DMV. MVRs not only represent DMV, but they also represent the diverse and dynamic communities in which our offices are located. As representatives of the community, DMV actively recruits candidates who are proficient in English and another language, such as Spanish, Chinese, Creole, Italian, Korean, Russian, and even American Sign Language. Uh, recruiting MVRs with multilingual skills who can interact with customers in their primary language creates a positive and inclusive customer service experience. Thank you, and that is so important, especially as a diversity and inclusion professional. Um, it's wonderful to hear that DMV is, is committed to that work. Uh, so thank you so much for your insight, Michael. And now, for anyone that's interested in applying, we'll spend the next couple of minutes providing information about what you can expect from the application process and the exam. Joining us for this portion is Christy Dodonna, who works for Human Resources at DMV. Hello, Christy. Hi. <laughs> Uh, can you tell us what does someone unfamiliar with the state government need to know about the process of applying for a motor vehicle representative position? Yes, of course. So a majority of the positions at DMV are filled through a competitive examination. These examinations assess the candidate's knowledge, skills, and ability to perform the job duties. An examination for the position of motor vehicle representative representative is available on the New York State Department of Civil Services website. The results of this examination will help 
and be used to fill motor vehicle representative positions statewide for the foreseeable future. And uh, I believe that you'll be able to view the exam announcement by clicking, clicking in the description box below this video. Um, and Chrissy, can you give us some insight on what people can expect from the exam and how they can prepare? Yes, as mentioned earlier in our presentation, no special preparation is needed. To begin the process, just click the Apply Now button in the middle of the exam announcement. Next, you'll need to create a ny.gov account if you have not already done so. This link will bring you to a website where an account can easily be created. Once you've created and signed into your account, you, um, there is a fee of $25 to take the motor vehicle rep exam. After you've completed the application, you may begin the exam. This is a special kind of exam called the training and experience exam. So rather than completing multiple choice questions and other standard civil service exam questions, you would just simply complete the questionnaire with your work experience, knowledge, and skills. If you need to obtain other information or look up dates, you can save where you are in the exam and then return once you are ready to fill in the other information. Um, you just need to complete the examination by the end of the day on August 31st. Excellent. That's such helpful information. Thank you, Christy, and thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to working with you as you begin your career with DMV.